In this short video tutorial, we'll understand how to create a float type variable using the C programming language. In the previous couple of videos, we understood how to create an integer variable and how to create a character variable using the C programming language. So let's talk about how to create or how to declare a float type variable using the C language. Now a float type variable is the one that holds decimal values. So if you want to store value 15 in your program, then you will have to create an integer variable because 15 is a number and it is treated as an integer by the C language. But if you want to store value 1.5, then you have to create a float variable because 1.5 is not treated as an integer. It is treated as a float type value by the C language. So let's understand how to create a float type variable using the C language. Let's write a program. Let's first include a very simple header file stdio.h. Let's create the body of the main function. The main function is one of the most important functions and it acts as the starting point of your C uh, program. Now to declare the float type variable, you have to make use of the float data type which has been given to you by the C language and you have to name and you have to give a name to your variable. So let's say we are giving a name f to our variable. So in this line, what we have done is we have created a variable f which is of the type float and we have not assigned it any value as of now. Remember that C is a case sensitive language and when you write the word float, you have to write it in small case. You cannot write it in capital case because if you write it in capital case, the compiler will throw an error and it will not understand that you are trying to use the float data type. So you have to write it in small case. Now, if you want to give some value to this variable, let's say 1.5. So this is how you can assign it a value. So in this line, we have assigned value 1.5, which is a floating type value to the variable f, which is of the type float. You can also declare, or you can also assign some value to the variable f when you are declaring this variable. So in this line, we have created a variable f, which is of the type float, and we have assigned it a value 2.5 which is a floating type value. So this is how you can create a float variable in your C program. Now before I end this video, let me talk about the local and global variables. Any variable that you create inside the body of a function is always treated as a local variable. And any variable that you create outside the body of the function is treated as a global variable. So this variable f has been created inside the body of this function. So it is treated as a local variable. You can also declare a float variable outside the body of the main function. So we have in this line, we have created a variable a, which is of the type float, but this variable has been created outside the body of the main function. So this variable a will be treated as a global variable and variable f will be treated as a local variable. So when you create variables, which are, which do not belong to the body of any function in your program, those variables are always treated as uh, global variables. So with this, we'll end this short tutorial here. To access our complete C programming course, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we post.